Hey guys, Jeremy here with Kentucky Wash Pros. Uh, I want to be talking to you guys in this video about the Kentucky Wash Pros Soapbox. Now this is for to be used with your pressure washing through the uh, downstream injector. So what this is, guys, if, you, if you're ready to be more efficient and you want to be faster on the job, this is how you get that. So this is the soapbox. Uh, this is an electric ball bound side of here. This will control remotely shutting your SH on and off or your degreaser or whatever you want to hook it up to at the time. So what it is, this, this box is, it's, yeah, I got it zip tied. This is just, this come off my truck. I wanted to put it up here and show you guys how it works. So you got it turned on. You got this, uh, I believe this is a 16 gauge cable. It doesn't take very much power to run this. Hooked up to your battery. This is an eight foot power cable. You got eight foot of hose on each side. So a total of 16 foot quarter inch hose, okay? So, and this is a stainless steel ball valve inside here. So when this is on, the only power that it's actually drawn from is just to light these up. So if you're out and you're washing the house and you're, so let's say you get out and it's hot and you're rinsing it down before you apply your chem. So you're rinsing it down you got 150 foot of hose pulled. So instead of walking back to the truck, dropping your uh, uh, drop stick, or maybe if you've got it hard wired in or hard plumbed in with a, with a uh, on off valve that you turn it on and off with, you just got, you just set this up. You, you take one side, you hard, you hard plumb it in, or you take one, or you use it through a drop stick and you take this other side and you run it through your injector. So when you're ready to apply your chem, uh, these remotes are up to 328 feet. This is what we have. We've got some 900 foot ones coming in uh, at the end of the week. That's what we're gonna be using, I think, from now on. But I really like these because they've got the clip and I like to clip mine onto my belt loop. I like to wear, you know, like the uh, golf shorts. So it's just really easy to keep handy on me. But uh, we're going to be changing up a little bit. But when you're ready to apply the chem, turn it on. So you let you know that it's on because the light's flashing, and uh, you could hear it actually actuate. So you soak down what you want to soak down, and then you come back and you're ready to rinse. So like I said, you know, 150. 200 feet out, whatever you're out, you're up to 328 feet. I've never tested the 328 feet, but I have tested well over 200 because I run 300 foot of hose. I've tested about 250 and it works fine. So when you're ready to rinse and just listen to this ball valve. It takes about three to five seconds to turn on and off. So after it turns on, it takes, you know, three to five seconds to open, allow about 15 seconds, roughly 15 seconds for your soap to come through your line. Now, what's really cool about these is when you got it turned on and let's say, let's just say you forgot to turn it off. When you, when you turn this off, it automatically returns the, the shut off. You see that guys, it auto returns. So, like I said, you can hard plumb this into your into your uh, bleach tank, your SH tank. And if you're going to hard plumb it, what I would recommend is coming somewhere through here, somewhere on this line, splicing in, uh, cut this, get you a three way uh, a three way valve, and I would hard plumb in a water line. That way you can flush this out, guys. The the life of this is to keep it flushed out. I don't care what you're running, uh, stainless steel, whatever it is. If you don't flush it out, it's not going to stay functional. Uh, ask me how I know, okay? So I ran this one. I took it apart, was going through it all summer, flushed it out, no problems. All right, guys? But you can see it's got mounting hose, two on the bottom, two on the top. This is a super sturdy box. Everybody says it's built really good and they're happy with it. And uh, what we're going to do, guys, is these boxes, the Kentucky Wash Pro Soap Box, 
I sell those for 350. So from now through the end of the year, they're on sale for 300 with free shipping. Now after that, I'm thinking about raising the prices because I mean, I'm making a little bit of money, but I'm putting a little bit of time in it. I feel like it should be worth more, but I want to help you guys out, okay? Because I'm new, I'm newer. I know what it's like to be on a budget. This is a budget buy in a budget box, but it's really not. This is legit. This works great. This will save you time. This will save you energy. You can do you can wash more houses if you have something that helps you. This is like having an extra person with you. Saves you so much time. And guys, like I said, this is for downstreaming through a downstream injector. This is not for a 12 volt. This is not for a soft wash setup. Yes, we can build those. No, we're not building them at the time, but we're gonna be looking into that. I'm getting a lot of requests for people wanting something like this for a 12 volt. I guess they like to rinse with a 12 volt. I don't know. I personally have, I use, I have a 12 volt. I'm not super fond of it. Everything I clean 98% of the time is through downstreaming. It's just, it's easier for me to do that. There's my proportioner. So that's for the 12 volt. But anyways, guys, I'm going to put a link in the, in the description. That's the only way that you can order one of these is by using that link. Now, what that is, it's gonna be a link directly to, uh, I guess, my business page or either my personal page. It's the easiest way to get a hold of me on Facebook. So, you can comment on this. I'm not gonna guarantee that I'm gonna see it all. I, I reply to almost every comment, but it's easier if you send me a message through Facebook. You can find me at Kentucky Wash Pros or you can find me at uh, and my name's Jeremy Messer. So if you want one, send me a message. We'll get you on the list. We got this one going out. This one's going out to uh, Keithlin. I believe I said that right. I hope I said that right. This is going to North Carolina. There's the, there's the budget bill. This one's going to South Carolina. This one's going to Connecticut. Guys, this is the next step. If you want to be faster, you want to watch more houses, you got to be more efficient. All right, guys, I appreciate it. Hope you guys are doing well.